Nation, welcome to the Does It Bear Digest for Sunday, June 27, 2021. The majority of the MPs of this federal party voted against banning the practice of brainwashing gays into not being gay. The majority voted against recognizing climate change as being real. And when the leader kicked MP Derek Sloan out of their caucus for a series of offensive and racist statements, the majority of this party took Sloan's ouster as a rejection of their values. Yep, I'm talking about the Conservative Party of Canada, or is there more accurately called the Republican North Party? Since becoming its leader, Aaron O'Toole has been trying to drag the Neanderthals in the party from the wilds of perpetual minority towards the center, but his base doesn't want to follow him, and the cracks are showing. Admittedly, Aaron's been a bit all over the map, promising to scrap the federal carbon tax in order to win the party leadership, and then coming out in favor of a renamed carbon tax. He's also angered the Alberta base for deviating from the oil industry party first line established by Stephen Harper. Even though polling clearly shows that big oil is highly unpopular outside of Alberta, also known as all the places they need votes from if they're ever going to form government again. And the party is already talking about replacing O'Toole if Aaron fails to win the next election, which with his numbers flatlining at the polls is quite likely. And believe it or not, the party is leaning towards Pierre Polyev for their next leader, a man so perpetually unpleasant that he's been described as having anti-charisma, a person who couldn't be more different than Justin Trudeau if he came from an alternate universe of antimatter. So what's the party's response to suggestions Aaron O'Toole is a lame duck leading a fractured party towards inevitable defeat? Quote, Our focus is to outline the clear choice Canadians will have in the next election between more of the same from other parties or a secure future under O'Toole. <laughs> Look, anyone looking at the Conservatives during this pandemic and seeing a party that is even remotely capable of providing a secure anything to Canada needs their eyes checked and definitely shouldn't be driving without their glasses on. Have you ever heard the expression only Nixon could go to China? Well, that's what happened on this day in 1974, just 46 days before Tricky Dick resigned from the presidency for the Watergate scandal. It's also Sunglasses Day. Yeah! And that's today's Does a Bear Digest. See you tomorrow!